another day, another Crown Vic project. So last video you guys saw, this thing got a new Turbo 400 in it. And today we're going to be installing some stuff that's going to keep that Turbo 400 alive or help us at least. I'm talking sensors. I'm talking data. I'm talking acquisition. I'm talking being able to see how hot our transmission fluid is. That's a crucial component in keeping this thing alive. We'll be taking the Rife transmission fluid sensor that's already installed in the transmission pan and wiring it up to the Holly Pro Dash. So we'll have a nice uh, parameter on our Pro Dash. We'll be able to see how hot the transmission is, and that'll help us determine if the cooler I have in here is big enough or not big enough. So, so in order to get our Pro Dash out, we've got to take this bezel out and radio pieces and some random stuff. And once we get the Pro Dash out, we'll be able to see the back of it. We'll go over some of the connections that we need to make. Uh, it's like I said, simple two wires. I'm just going to run those through the harness that I have the trans brake ran through. And we'll be in, yeah, we'll be in good shape. This shouldn't take too long at all. Like I said, simple connections. I'm going to go over the wiring. I'll get the dash out right now. The dash is almost removed. If I were wondering, Car Chains 3D made this bracket for the Pro Dash. Fits really nice. I've used them several times now for various vehicles. They got a lot of stuff. So check them out if you got a Pro Dash and want uh, an integration that looks pretty much stock. They did a great job. All right, there's the boy we needed. So this is our uh, main uh, power and can connector for the Pro Dash. So we reach in here, little white tab. You got two, uh, well, there's both sides of this thing, so let's take a look at the other side. Two tabs here, one tab here. You press on this single dog, and this side is going to pop up like so, otherwise it'll be uh, flush. You can see it's kind of popped up a little bit there. Not flush. So push that sucker in, and then we'll come over to the back here, and pop out our corresponding plug that we need. So we're going to use the uh, terminal number 20. I'll go over the wiring right now. So, you guys so we've got our Holly Pro Dash instructions pulled up. We're obviously dealing with a transmission temp sensor. So we're going to look at this line item. Custom CTS and custom MAT are used for custom thermistors. So on our chart... Custom CTS, we've got four uh, terminals that we can use for this input. Scroll over here, as I mentioned earlier. Pin 20 is going to be IO5. We'll use IO5 later to get this parameter to actually show up on the dash. And then down here, uh, pin 26, our sensor ground, the other wire is going to be connected to that. And up here is how the back of the dash uh, is terminated or the connector I should say so pin 20 input 5 26 is the ground for the sensor those are the two we're going to use super easy okay so now that we understand the wiring and what each wire is going to do um, I went ahead and popped the two plugs out of there so yeah you can see that's terminal 20 there uh, that's going to be for uh, you know, thermistor wiring that we saw in the schematics, and then 26 is sensor ground. We'll take both the leads and push them in their corresponding spot. I'm going to try and do this one-handed, not the easiest thing to do. Pre-terminated from Holly. That's pretty nice. Was a pretty expensive kit, unfortunately, but it's what it is. So we'll zoom in here, and we're just going to go like this. Just jams in there. You can see that cavity now has a terminal in it. And I'll get my other wire. Get my other wire, do the same thing. So both of our new wires are in there. The red with white stripe and the white with black stripe. Oh, I went ahead and pushed our locking tabs back down. Those are good. So this is ready to plug back in and 
run through the car. So I'm going to get these ran to the uh, underneath of the car. I'm going to tie into the uh, trans brake harness, like I said. So keep these wires secure. And I'm going to get this car on the lift. And I'll show you what it looks like underneath. So we're back on the lift. That's where this thing is accustomed to being. <laughs> and I've got uh, the loom pulled up for the trans brake harness. Um, went underneath and cut a couple zip ties and pulled this up here. That was going to be the easiest way to tie these wires in. Uh, my connector for the trans brake is in here somewhere. I don't know where, but uh, it's in here. It's just a single speed terminal. Just trust me, it's in there. So I'm going to run this back down to the underneath of the car. And then we'll hook up our two wires for the temp sensor. Show you that. Um, we're going to make this serviceable. We're not going to hardwire it into the sensor. We'll make it so if we do, unfortunately, have to take the transmission out again, we can disconnect it. And then we'll work on the dash. So I'll lift this thing back up. We'll take a look underneath. So we've moved back underneath the car. And you guys can see you got the old trans brake plugged in there. Got our two wires that are going to the dash, and here's our transmission temp sensor. So, so I'm gonna get these wires cut to the appropriate lengths and get these crimped on and then put the heat shrink on and we'll be good to go. Then we'll get up to the dash and add our parameters, set the gauge up and product will be done. Okay, so. Found uh, found the chart we needed for the Rife sensor calibration. So what we're going to need to do, there's 16 parameters we're going to need to go in and change. And basically it's going to be a certain ohm is going to correlate with a certain temperature. So when the dash is seeing X amount of resistance, it's going to know to, to, to display a certain amount of temperature. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and input all the information. Like I said, found the information um, for the Rife sensor. Uh, there's some sensors that the dash already has stored, like if it was a Holly temperature sensor, might have been able to select that, but the Rife sensor wasn't in the list. So I'm just gonna go through these uh, 16 parameters here, add that stuff, and we'll see what it looks like on this chart here when we're done. And yeah, we should be good, and then we'll add the gauge. I'll show you how to do that. Also, once we're done editing those ohms, we're going to go in here and rename this. Clear. Trans. Trans. Temp instead of IO5, so it'll make it a little bit clearer for us. There we go. So we went through and we got all the ohms correlated with the temperatures. So now we're going to customize our dash so we can get that transmission temperature gauge shown on here. So first things first, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of some stuff that I don't need by, I don't have nitrous on here yet, by, by, a lot of nitrous ones, it's a sign. <laughs> AFR will leave, target AFR, not too worried about that. Um, where do I want this thing? And what else do I need on here? We need a boost gauge, that's for sure. Um, Hmm. Well, give me a second. I'm going to play around with this for a little bit and do some thinking. So got those gauges deleted. Um, now we're going to add a couple. So I want to add trans temp, obviously, fuel level, boost, and probably odometer too. Um, but for now, we'll just focus on the trans temp. So you can see trans temp now shows up in this list. If we didn't change the name, it would have shown up as IO5. So we'll select trans temp. Okay. And uh, digital should be fine. See what we can do to 
customize that a little bit. Yeah, trans down. There we go. Okay, we have went through and uh, modified the... Man, really sorry about the beeping. Need to disable that somehow. Went through and changed the range. We've changed the background color to match the other gauges. And we've changed the size. So let's just uh, take a look and see what it looks like. Save this. There we go, 40 degrees. I'd say that's pretty accurate. Let's start it up and see what happens. configured pretty good I'm uh, overall happy with that I've also got uh, my shift light LEDs set up and also um, warnings for trans temp coolant temp oil pressure and fuel pressure so those will light up if uh, they uh, for the temperatures if the temps go above a certain value and if the pressures drop below a certain value so we're out here doing some tuning too I got the uh, Two step cranked up to well 3600 rpm so that's nice that it comes up dynamic motorsports did a great job on the converter i just see what it sounds like i don't know if we'll be able to hear it too well well that's badass so the crown vic is uh, getting closer and closer to being completed between now and whenever it's probably going to be completed, some other stuff will break. So I'll keep you guys updated on uh, what's next. Thanks for tuning in and your support. See you next time. <laughs>